doing? She always wants to be in the spotlight. Don't let her out the door. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant Man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in real quick on this situation with Go Ye Yo. It's uh, into it now with 300 Chief Keith, Lil Reese, uh, Tato. Still got issues with Bugatti Casino, Lil CJ Casino, and Lil CJ and Bugatti still ain't seeing eye to eye. It's just a whirlwind and a long list of problems going on. But I'm going to speak on it in the manner that I speak on things. Because simple fact here, like, I don't really concern myself with the issues. I know this is what the people want to see. This is what the people want to hear. This is what the people care about more than the music. I'm more of a music nigga, but my supporters want to hear about the shit, so we got to talk about it. Go yeah, yo. Basically, what then happened is it's been a rumor. I can't confirm nothing. I haven't seen nothing. That his chains were stolen somewhere. Uh, rumors say L.A., I can't prove it. I don't know. I was not there. I didn't see nothing. I ain't seen the chains. Go yeah, yo. It's been people calling them out saying they'll pay him twenty thousand to go ahead and pay to get his chains back. I don't I mean to not to get them back, but to post them online. Basically saying we can confirm that his chain, he does he no longer has his go his hood fame chain. Whatever, whatever time went on. So now what then really it's been a lot of back and forth things and all that. But what then really surfaced was Bugatti Casino dropped a hard video yesterday. I fucks with the music You know what I'm saying The message in it That's between them But the overall Riding and bobbing your head If you know me You know I jam the fuck out Bugatti Casino And the whole Really the whole Fort Worth If you know that You know that already with me I fuck with Texas So Bugatti Casino Dropped a song called Free 21 No Takes Backs With a visual yesterday He got a new tape coming out He basically addressing Go Yayo In the video Goes on FaceTime with Tato Tato is a member of Chief Keefe's Glow Gang. We know who Tato is if you more than a casual rap fan for shit show. Other people know who Tato is also. You know, he's a he's a known name in the, in the hip-hop community for shit show. Shout out to uh, Tato and the Glow Gang, man. But basically, he FaceTimes Tato in the video. And on the internet, the rumor that everybody saw was allegedly, this is alleged, I don't know what, Tato was around some people that might have done something with Yayo Chain. We never heard nobody out of the camp say they took Yayo Chain. We never heard nobody out of the click, out of Chief Keith and them clicks. So that's just the internet sparking a rumor. I don't know what. But it spiced that rumor up a little bit more once Bugatti got on live with him in the video. Now, if you look at that video, it's the same thing, kind of what, uh, what Yayo and them did when they was on the FaceTime in a video with him and Lil Ronnie when they dropped a hard ass banging ass song they FaceTime Bugatti before the video so that's what happened with that now look I'll tell you like this this is the thing with this street shit, bro. It ain't no rules in this shit. I don't like the shit, but that's what it is. I know the streets don't have rules. I always tell niggas, go listen to Babyface Ray or Shunty. When you out here playing in the streets, turn the rules off. Niggas is not going to play fair. Bugatti made a statement about a situation when Goyayo's car was shot up out here in Houston, Texas. Hey, rest in peace to Brand Brand, man. Love the young brother lost, you know, Hey, I don't know what that was about. Don't need to know what that's about. All I'm going to do is send condolences to the family member of the brother, man. Somebody's son, somebody nephew, grandson, niece, uncle, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Condolences to him. So Bugatti spoke on that incident in the song. So that ran. Peanut Butter Hot, he jumped online, responded. Go, yeah, yo. That's why you seen it in his uh, rant he actually apologized to brand brand and everything like that they were in the car together from our understanding from the way the reports happen and things like that now look here man i don't know nothing about none of that shit that street shit that i'm not involved in but understand this this is one of those situations where all this stuff is put on the internet I don't have to go look for it. I don't have to go find it. The shit made the news. The shit is on the internet. I don't have to dry snitch. I'm not leaking or putting out no information that nobody know. Don't know. That just ain't my style. I ain't with that. But 
Now, once Bugatti dropped that video, everything went up even more. You know what I'm saying? That's when Yayo jumped out there and he called out Chief Keith and them and spoke on an incident that happened at their house and everything like that. And then you see the back and forth. Then Larice gets involved. Like, who is this nigga? I don't know if Larice know who Go Yayo is or not. All I can say is a bunch of motherfucking confusion. Chief Keith responded. Tato then responded. Everybody going back and forth. It's a whole lot of shit going on. Now, Go Yayo is calling out CJ and uh bugatti again saying he buying another chain and he bouncing back and he back with all the bullshit now so now it's just more even more turned up more fuel than been thrown on the fire most definitely in fort worth everything going on in fort worth is crazy like i say man hopefully these brothers can really just agree to disagree but if it's bloodshed because they both saying this right here that now neither side had had anything to do with something getting done to the other side so if that's the case i don't know what the situation is or what happened with who if somebody did something to somebody where i can't come back from y'all do what y'all do i can't tell y'all how to move but if you know that hey man ain't nobody died over this ain't nobody been fucked over over this to another level of respect they can't come back from go and get past it and let the other niggas handle it how they handle it if this person over here ain't the one that took your man out you know what i'm saying this and this and that i don't know about that though i'm just saying so it is what it is man it's turned up my supporters, y'all got to understand, bro. When y'all come and ask me to talk about shit like this, I'm not picking a side. I'm not here to go in on this nigga, a clown, somebody from getting raw for their chain. Anybody can get raw for their chain, my nigga. Anybody. Anybody. Unless you finna walk around with 20 and 30 niggas every day, you got a possibility of getting raw. But I'm going to tell you how the game, the streets play tricks on you. You go get security, right? And you get... You 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 walk around niggas. Oh, that bitch ass nigga got security with him. He ain't solid. He ain't real. But then you move without security. Guess what? Hey man, that bitch ass nigga should have had security on him. That's why he got took down, nigga. Da 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 da. Anybody can get robbed. Getting robbed does not make you a whole ass nigga, in my opinion. This is me. What makes you a whole ass nigga is if somebody gives you an opportunity to stand up for yourself and your jury, and you they take it off of you with their hands. And you let them take it off of you with no retaliation, with no weapon, which does it happen like that? We see what happens online. Rappers performing, nigga goes up to him while he performing, snatches the chain and runs. That's not stiff to me. That's nigga, you just a chain grabber. You're a chain thief. You know what I'm saying? You're a chain bandit. That's not gangster. You took a nigga, you stole a nigga chain. You didn't take it. Take it means, hey, I see you face to face. You know we at odds. I'm going to walk up to you in your face, snatch your chain off your neck, and give you opportunity to do something, and you don't do it. That makes you a hoe. If a nigga put a pistol on you, I think niggas know what you do when somebody put a pistol on you and tell you give it up. That's what happens. You know what I'm saying? You got caught slipping. Anybody can get caught slipping. Some of these biggest gangsters y'all glorify in the real world. Your bar, but they all been caught, caught slipping before. It is what it is. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politicians TV, man, 1000.